Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Jason and today I'm here to share a tree with you. Uh, this is a multi-trunked tree called the red horse nut tree, also called the pink horse nut tree. Uh, and this is a gorgeous plant. Uh, it is May right now here in California and that is when this plant is in bloom. It puts out these gorgeous fragrant pink panicles. Let me see if I can get you in there. Uh, with these yellow throats, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous flowers, and these palmate leaves. Um, if I can get you in there. Let's check those out. Uh, this plant is an awesome plant. Uh, as far as the sun requirements of this plant, it wants part sun to um, full sun to part shade. Uh, this plant wants it thrives in loam or sandy soil. It also is tolerant of our clay soil. Uh, this is a great um, plant to have in parks uh, where it can like grow and turn into a large specimen. The form is very umbrella-like. Uh, this plant's origins are Germany. Uh, let me see if I can get you a good picture of the whole tree. Absolutely beautiful tree. Uh, the whole, whole hardiness of this tree is uh, five to seven, so it's extremely cold hardy. Uh, this uh, tree can tolerate clay. Um, as far as those flowers we were just looking at, uh, they will turn into these uh, prickly seed capsules. You might even be able to see one that's beginning, like right, right there. Do you see that? So anyways, it's a semi-prickly seed capsule and it will produce two to three seeds uh, that will drop to the ground. And they are toxic, so keep that in mind. Uh, they're toxic and you don't want to eat them. Um, as far as uh, this plant, Losing its leaves, it should drop some of its leaves mid-summer through late summer. Uh, it's a way of uh, this plant's uh, ability to conserve water. Uh, as far as, uh, so this is a deciduous plant. It drops the leaves, it drops the flowers, it drops the fruit. So it's more for parks. Uh, this is not a street tree. You wouldn't plant this on the street. Uh, this is a uh, tree that lives to be 50 to 150 years. Um, what else is there about this tree? Um, and yeah, if there's any questions that you have about this plant that I may not have covered in this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out. This is Jason.